So before we begin, I want to make sure that you know how to get a hold of me, how to ask questions after the show. Um, please do go to my website, straightsmilesolutions.com. I want to show you a couple of new features that are on there that maybe you didn't know about. If you go to the homepage, and this is this, um, I'm going to start with number one. If you see number one up there, there is a button for a free 20 minute consultation. Now we're not going to be going over any cases in that. Um, we're just going to be talking about your practice, how we can optimize it. Um, finding ways to be more efficient, just talking about different orthodontic systems. You can utilize that 20 minute consultation however you want. I offer every dentist in the world. I know that's a big, <laughs> big stretch. And Dental Labs too, a free 20 minute consultation. Just jump on there and you can schedule it. It's super easy, no need email. Um, number two, if you're interested in being a subscriber, our prices are actually really low. Um, so I've been told I purposely keep them low. I have not raised them at all because I want to be able to service people um, in underserved countries, dentists there. I want it to be reasonable and affordable for everybody. So um, that's my goal. We have things as little as like one session. We can go over like one case or you can have an unlimited subscription. Listen, if you're just doing like one case every three months, it pretty much covers it. But we help you with, depending on your level of service, pretty much everything that you need help on. So um, you probably don't know that you need help until we find out what you can do that you need help. So definitely sign up today. We do take only a limited amount of concierge doctors at a time. I'm not going to tell you how many. I do have a few other orthodontists that do work with me um, if I need to, to have additional help. Um, but right now, um, I will try to be your assigned concierge provider, um, but it is limited. So um, I would highly recommend that you start there. Do visit our FAQ session if you have any questions. Okay, number three, bottom left, it's a little camera. And this is called SmileSnap. So SmileSnap is a virtual consultation tool. Listen, I'm not seeing patients, but they were super cool and they let me use it for a few months so you guys can play with it. So I installed it, it was so easy. The code just drops right in, installed it on my computer. You can go ahead and play with it. You can change the verbiage. So I was kind of using it um, if you guys want to communicate with me about a case, but you can use it in your own way. Um, so you should totally check it out for now. Feel free to play with it and, and just do whatever. And then on the other end, there's a dashboard. So um, theoretically, I can probably show it to you if you want to do a screen share. But anyways, they'll be glad to do a demo. If you want an introduction, let me know. All right. And lastly, number four, you may not be able to see that up in the top right, there's a portal. This is our HIPAA compliant portal. If you are a client, you'll have access to this. Every client gets access to their own HIPAA compliant portal. That's how we submit our cases. If you want really fast responsiveness, we have a couple other ways, but there's about 30 different ways that we can use to communicate. So we'll find the right way for you and we'll go over all the options with you, okay? And then don't forget, don't forget, we are launching our digital education series, not only digital, but we have like hands-on like destination where you can go someplace and learn. We have hands-on, you can do it on your own time, digital, but you will get um, actually a physical kit that you can learn to practice different types of orthodontic movements and education. This is totally customized for you. This is new. We literally launched this officially to, well, last week. But you can go to our website if you want information. Um, it's because it's customized, the price point's also customized. So if you're interested, let me know what part you're interested in and I'll go ahead and send you that information. To here with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. Don't forget to go to our website, check out all of our other blogs and vlogs, and go to our YouTube site and subscribe as well. But today we're going to be talking about posterior open bites and aligners, what to do, how to prevent them from happening. We're going to give you a bunch of options for correcting this. Some are free, some will cost money. But yeah, let's just dig into it. And I just want to let you know that this is like, first of all, don't freak out if you see this happening on a patient. This just happens. It's just part of aligners. Uh, it's just one of those things that at the end can be a little bit tedious, but it shouldn't be anything you're stressing out about and neither should your patient. So just be prepared for it when it happens. So this is kind of a very exaggerated example of a posterior open bite. It may not be like that. It might be here, it might be here, you know? It might be very subtle, it might be bilateral, it might be unilateral, so just be prepared. My suggestion, just to kind of document it, is to go ahead and get that articulating paper. I like the horseshoe shaped one, but go ahead, mark all around. If you're not already utilizing uh, intraoral and just general dental photography to capture progress on your aligner patients, you should be. And of course, dental monitoring is one of my favorite systems. It's already streamlined. It's already in there for you. It's a no-brainer. Another great idea, I like to partner up with um, 
dental photography made easy. My friend, Bill Moore, he's fantastic. He can go in and set up the systems for you, but it's an amazing risk management tool. Hey, if you're not already attending, we are having a great symposium, an online webinar. It's free. It's going to be on Friday, April the 5th. So stay tuned or connect with me if you want to get invited. Um, Mr. Moore and I will be presenting this. Anyways, I digress. Let's get back to how to fix these posterior open bites. So mark it with articulating paper all over. Make sure you get the extrusive movements as well, all the different um, right, left, front, back kind of movements. Make sure there's no COCR shift. Um, and then take pictures of the occlusion, both upper and lower. You should be doing this every appointment if you have some concerns about the bite and then capturing it and documenting it and archiving it. Um, beyond that, let's go ahead and talk about the first of my three suggestions. Actually, there might be four suggestions for fixing this, but we'll see what comes out of this presentation. So number one is going to be, okay, let's make it easy. Let's go ahead and just get rid of those aligners, take the buttons off, you know, or attachments or whatever you're doing, tell the patient they're done, and let's make some wraparound holly retainers. Now this is not the perfect example of actually what a wraparound holly retainer I would recommend. This is a stock image. I need to probably get you exactly what I want. So, um, and hey, my favorite lab, I'm gonna give a props to them is theorthodonticlab.com. They're super awesome. They're in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm gonna be visiting them in March. Um, but anyways, that's my buddy. You can contact them at theorthodonticlab at gmail.com. But just a little shout out to them for always giving me cool demos when I ask for them for my videos. But yes, ask them for quote, and I'm going to write this down at the top. You can just copy it on your prescription, okay? So it should be, please fabricate upper and lower wrap around holly retainers with no occlusal wires, interocclusal wires over the occlusion, whatever you want to call it. So see here how there's these little wires that are right here and here, here and here. There's four of them. You don't want those. All you want is this, okay? Now, your lab person might be like, well, you can't do that. Well, yes, you can, because I actually have a retainer myself that's like that, and I've had it for 20 years, almost a long time. If it's just fine, never got bent, and I never, ever had to adjust. It. But the key is you really need to have a super accurate impression. This can't be no like junky alginate impression. I would really like to have a scan because it really needs to be scalloped. It needs to be a very thick wire. I don't know the gauge of the wire, but it needs to be extremely stable wire. Um, and nowadays they do so much cool things with these retainers. Um, and hey, if you're from a lab and you're doing cool things with retainers, like with hollies that aren't like traditional hollies, and I've seen ones with clear bows and cast bows and 3D printed bows, I want samples. Send them to me, in, message me, email me, info at the straightsmilesolutions.com, info at straightsmilesolutions.com, and I will get a little video going about your appliance. But anyways, yes, fabricate these upper and lower hollies, patient is to wear them 24 seven. Yes, that means they went from aligners to wearing holly retainers 24 seven for at least three months, at least three months. So if they're not committed to wearing these 24 seven, and I'm guessing if they're aligner patients, they like clear. You need to make it very clear if they do not wear them 24 seven, not only is their bite not gonna fix ideally, but their teeth are gonna move. So you're gonna need to have some type of major compliance contract if you're going to do this, but it does work if you do it. It does work, it does work. It just takes time. Have them come, every, come in every maybe four to six weeks, document with articulating paper a little bit more, the bite settling, it could even take up to six months to settle. So they're going to wear these until every single tooth is touching ideally in a balanced way, and then you can move them into tra traditional Essex retainers, all right? So that was suggestion number one, the wraparound holly retainer, no interocclusal guide wires. All right, suggestion number two is going to be, actually, I'm going to do this one first, so let me, let me go to slide number seven. This is suggestion number two which is going to be, and thank you so much to TP Orthodontics, again, another shout out to them, because they sent me a huge box of samples, and I love it when people send me samples, they are so nice, and I'm so excited, by the way, if you're going to Chicago midwinter, be sure to connect with them, I don't think they have a booth, but they're going to be there, so um, they're based in Indiana, but anyways, they actually have a solution for this already, it's called the Pre-Finisher, this is a semi-custom positioner system, it comes in all kinds of 
different sizes and all you have ooh, let's not look at that um, all you have to do is measure yourself there's a little ruler measure the size of the teeth and you can actually keep these in stock I don't have a price point exactly on them because I think you can buy them in bulk. They do all sorts of cool things. But yes, you can just go ahead and dispense this pre-finisher to your patient. They bite around it on it for a few weeks. Uh, I would wear it 24 seven, but I know it's probably not gonna happen. So why don't you wear it like 16 hours? Maybe not at work. You have to actively bite on it though. That's the key, okay? Again, do the same thing. We call the patient every four to six weeks. Check it with articulating paper until they fully settled. And once they fully settled, hold them there for at least two to three weeks. And then you can make their Essex retainers. Yay. And this is what it looks like up close. It's basically just a semi-custom positioner. Semi-custom means, and yes, this is a class two medical grade device. So Semi-custom just means that it's already in stock. So you can stock various sizes. You don't have to wait. If you want a custom positioner, tons of labs make that too. That's gonna involve upper and low impression, possible face bow, mounting it. Um, it's probably gonna cost a little bit more. But yes, that's option number two, the positioner. And this is the TP Orthodontics one. Okay, we're jumping all over the place. Let's go to option number three. So this is kind of a very <laughs> crude example of a posterior open bite. This is not a very severe one but this is probably commonly what you're gonna see. So number three is gonna be, take the last aligners or whatever aligners they're in and trim them distal to the threes, just to the canines. So you're just gonna have anterior alignment. And then you can go ahead and place buttons on the posterior teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least every posterior tooth should get a button. So that means premolars and molars bilaterally. So put those buttons on, you can get them in clear or metal. The patient's probably gonna want you to have clear and then like cure them, and then you're gonna go ahead and dispense elastics, okay? You're gonna need to probably stock a variety of sizes of elastics. Um, I'd get 1 8 medium and heavy, I'd get 3 16 medium and heavy, and I'd get 1 quarter medium heavy. That's six different types I would always keep in stop. And then you'll need to go ahead and have them run elastics in triangular patterns, overlapping triangles. It doesn't matter if they're upside down, how you do it, um, bilaterally, there should be probably about three elastics on each side. They need to wear those 24 seven along with their aligners on their front teeth. And for a couple weeks, they can come back, I would say every week to 10 days, come back. This happens pretty aggressively. Um, and once you get them stabilized and you have a good bite, again, retain it at night for at least two to three weeks. And then you can put them in there. Um, Essex retainers. And that's my three solutions for you for closing a posterior open bite. Any questions, please go, please go to straightsmilesolutions.com, ping me or info at straightsmilesolutions.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.